She and her friends hang out and play Street Fighter at the 7-Eleven every day after school. Video games tend to evoke cultural milestones. Spielberg films, Lovecraftian and pulp, and even other video games rank as top inspiration. Monsters, minecarts, and Minecraft are imaginative fuel, but what if more literary inspirations paired with the immersion of today's technology were to welcome you to a dark and stormy night? If you heard the word literary and are still here, well, thanks for sticking with us. <laughs> Gone Home's crisscrossing threads, like any good short story, are sure to have your mind racing as you try to unravel what's going on. This heavy sense of mystery is mixed with a dose of nostalgia that might have you headbanging. The first-person narrative has you looking through the eyes of a mid-1990s co-ed returning from a European summer adventure. The family is gone, the front door is locked, and the new house is an unfamiliar abode. The wind and rain are beating down, as they tend to do in the Pacific Northwest. Alone in the house, it's up to you to puzzle out exactly what is going on with your recently inherited house, your high school-aged sister, and your parents' perversions. The Fulbright Company has built a convincingly lived-in residence to explore, littered with letters and childhood ephemera, even cheat codes. You'll hear quips from your younger sister brought on by something as simple as finding a mixtape or rummaging through some boxes triggering some accompanying memory. You're a detective and the case feels very murky as you feel your way along the walls, washed in what should be familiar but instead leans toward the uncanny. Is there an underlying menace here or just a mystery? The few locked doors work to baffle your clue-hungry gaze, and over time you'll piece together a map, both physical and figurative, culminating in a final ascent towards answers. Gone Home's detractors will cry that this isn't really a game. We'd argue that if it looks like a duck, it's probably a duck. And guess what? There's a literal duck here, nesting over the key to the first locked door. It's not quackery, this is game design writ small and enthralled to the story, turning the player into both reader and author with a surprising degree of sophistication. If anything, you'll want to turn away from the spiraling critical path as the locked doors begin to open. Instead, stop and scour, breathe in the penmanship and soak up the VHS tapes, tease out any lingering questions, and then go home. Hi mom, uh, so I got my ticket home from Europe. I get back on June 6th, but it's a really late flight because that was the cheapest, so it gets in at midnight. But don't worry, I'll get a shuttle from the airport so you don't have to pick me up. Like, really seriously, you don't have to. Okay, so, love you. See you soon. Bye.